Hello everyone, I'm the Mon Man, and welcome back to Flight Simulator X Steam Edition, where today we're going to be doing the Game Park Patrol mission, which is actually the last beginner mission of the default set. This one here is a DLC one, so we'll be doing that at a later date. This is the last beginner mission, so after this it could start getting a bit tricky. But today, we're going to be helping Rangers find a missing elephant in Zimbabwe's Hwanage National Park. Because, you know, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you indeed? So let us, um check out our briefing for the day. Once it loads, there we go. So we're going to be in the um, the little trike aircraft again. It's a nice little aircraft, it'll do the job. We've got to find a missing elephant. So this could be fun. This could be fun indeed. So shall we just dive right in? I think we should because um, I want to find this elephant, damn it. Well, we're in once again. And um, yeah. Situation. We've gotten reports of an orphan baby elephant separated from his herd about 10 miles west of It's here. an orphan we baby one! Look for him, but they need some aerial support. Oh no, that elephant just they disappeared! The road southwest from here. Okay. The one that heads south, so stay to the west. You can fly as low as you want. Alright, okay. Those elephants disappeared in front of me. Not gonna, not just, just gonna point it out there. Right, I'm gonna open up the GPS just in case we need it. Um, there's nothing on there. No, we'll be alright without it. And away. Elephants! Oh my god! Elephant! <laughs> Watch where you're going, mate! <laughs> right, okie dokie. We are airborne. Southwest. Where are we going? Which way? Um, I need I need the compass thing. Details. Right. South. That's, um... Take a right at this intersection and head west. Intersection? What? Oh, is that the road? Oh, that road. That ah, that road? That might be the road. Is that west? That's west. That is west. There we go. So I can fly as high or low as I like, really. I won't be going to space, though, because that's not fun. One guy seven. One guy one, two. Hello? Hey, where are you? Where I'm in the sky. We see the herd, but can't find the little guy. All right. We're on our way in the ultralight. We are indeed. We? Good, oh, there's good. two seats. I thought there was only one we're seat. It's like, where's the other road. dude? Okay, see you soon. We're going over there. Okay. Uh... 4,000 feet apparently. Oh, well, no, three and a half. I said 4,000. I don't know why. It's three and a half thousand feet, but that's ground level. Okay, that's fine. That is fine indeed. We'll stick along the road for a little while longer, though. Just, um, just see where the road takes us. You know, um, how low? Should we see how low we can get? But this is the first time I've ever flown in this sort of scenery in FSX, and I must say it is very nice. Look at it. It's fantastic. Um, so yes, that's that's a true fact right there. So what, is that where the herd is or something? I don't know. I don't know. But look at these trees. It's so it's so different to what we're used to seeing in Flight Sim. Because flight sim, we usually either see clouds or um, or London. So, you know, it's quite nice to see a bit of variety. Um, I'll try... Okay, follow the southernmost road here. Okay. I can do that thing. I can do that thing indeed. A.K.A. Follow the big giant green glowy thing. I think that's I think that's what we're supposed to be doing here. I'm just gonna bring down the um just gonna bring down this and there we go. So you should be able to see it. yeah. See because I play it in a I play this in full uh, not in uh, I bleh, let's try that again. I play this in um what's the southernmost road? It's the one on the left, isn't it? Yeah. I play this in window mode, but you know, full screen if you get what I'm saying. And um yeah, that aspect ratio doesn't fit sixteen by nine, so some of the stuff you you guys can't see. I basically chopped the top of the screen off, basically, every single time. So I've got the information about the altitude, the house, our, our speed, which where, which direction we're flying in, our latitude and longitude. I've got that all open, but you guys can't see it. And um, yeah, if I don't bring that um, little compass down, you can't see where the green arrow is. So um, there you go. Interesting fact right there. So yes, I'm actually thinking at some point, I don't know if you guys have, have seen it. I mean, um, if I can, I'll leave a link to the video in the description. But all Nippon Airways, or ANA, are going to be repainting one of their new Dreamliners in an R2-D2 Star Wars livery. I saw it and I just thought, oh my god, that needs to be in flight sim. Like, desperately. So I think there's a few free 787s around. If any of you guys are good at reskinning, um, please try it. I'm going to be trying it as well at some point. Um, it'll be awesome to have that in in flight sim, and I'll I'll do a flight with it um, one day. That'd be really cool. So um, I'll le I'll try and find a three seven eight seven and leave a link to that in the description as well. Um, so yes, and there'll be a link to the video so you can see what it looks like if you haven't seen it already. But it looks awesome, 
and I can't wait to hopefully see it in real life. It looks fantastic. So, um, yes. Yes, indeed. Star Wars. All, all the Star Wars things are occurring over in the next few days, and it's just fantastic. Um, it's just fantastic indeed. How far are we going? We've just got to go all the way over there. Okay, that's 10 miles away, or nautical miles. Nautical miles, I should say. We need a, we need a screenshot opportunity. Yeah, the other dude seems to be invisible. P camera, what are you doing? Thank you, camera. Thank you for your, um, yeah, top work right there. Oh, that's, 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 that's pretty right there. That's, that's, um, there we go. That's, that's a, that's a pretty sight to see. I hit the wrong button. Playing so, too much train sim, I just hit the one to go back into the cockpit. The, yeah. Oh, well. How high are we right now? We are 4,070 feet in the air. There we go. Not bad. Not bad indeed. Are we going to break off from the road here soon? I'll go down a little bit, I think, here. So, we're going to... What was that? Guavalala? Is that Guavalala? How do you say, I don't know how you say that. Um, but I'm going to go with Guavalava. Um, oh, no. no. Guav, guava, guava, guavalala. There, guavalala. There we go. I got it right ish in my brain. In my brain. That's, that's, that's the most important bit. I like the, I like the tiger stripe livery we've going, got going on right now. It's very cool. It's very cool indeed. Um, so, yes. I take if I have actually is there anything on the GPS? No, there is literally nothing on the GPS. Okay, never mind. We don't need that. I do. It's just a nice aircraft flight. Just having a basic fly, isn't it? You could just you could just do whatever you want, really. That's our altitude there. It's just it's just a nice aircraft to do a simple flight in. You know, very nice indeed. Um, can I stop following the road now? I'm going to go with yes because I just want to get there quicker. And this this go this thing goes really slowly. Um, You'd think, wouldn't you? You'd do it. You'd do it in a helicopter, so you can stop and hover over where the elephant is, or something like that. Otherwise, you've got to circle it, and then it could move, and you'd lose it. So um, that's just that's just my opinion, de personnel. Um, so there you go. There you go, indeed. I like I like the way you turn this thing as well. It's just sort of like like that. It's really cool. I like it. I like it. So um, yeah, this is this is the this is the plane. It's the plane banter today. It's the plain banter today, indeed. So the next mission that I'm going to be doing will be the first, like, intermediate difficulty. Now, I don't know what one it is. I haven't actually looked. But I'm looking forward to it, to say the least. I'm looking forward to it. I'm just going to... We're just going to... No, we're just... We're gonna, what, what key is it? It's that one. No, it's not. There is a there is a way of moving the camera. That's that's what I want. I just want to have a look off to the side there. There we go. Because you can move the... If, if you hold control and shift and do stuff like this, you can move the camera wherever you want it. Control, um, control space, you know, puts it back in its default place. So there you go. You can all do, do all sorts of weird camera tricks if you so desired. Like, I could do this. We can go all the way back out here if we so desired. We can sit in the rear seat and have really, really long arms, but not today. Um, yeah, then trouble is with this aircraft is this central pole covers up where you're trying to go. Um, so, you know, you have to try and dodge that. But never mind. Let's try and get a flyby. This could take about a week because of how, um... How slow this thing is. We are steadily climbing. We're at 4,400 feet. That's crazy. Um, yeah, that, I, I don't know how, how high we actually are because that's relative. You know, that's not relative to the ground, is it? If you get what I'm saying. If you get what I'm saying. Um, thanks, camera. Usefulness there. Um, what, what else we got going? And boom. Right. Back behind us. And there we go. Got a tail camera right there. Fantastic. Let's just let's just stay in the cockpit where we should be. Don't want the pilot sort of like looking at different areas. Unless of course there's cameras on the plane, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool indeed. Um, there is. Um, what's, so what we got? Let's let's have a let's have a zoom up there. Oh okay. Oh god. Sorry. Sorry. I yeah. I tried. Thought. I I thought if I zoom ahead and point my aircraft down a little bit. I might be able to see something, but um, no, nah, that didn't work. So, um, how far can you zoom out or zoom zoom in? So we got right. So that's well over 500 times zoom. That's just crazy. That is just crazy. We've gone off to the side. That is just crazy zoom. Crazy zoom indeed. We've got lakes over there. It's very pretty. I like it. Where are we in the world? This is this is a um, what did it say? Are we in like Zimbabwe or something? I don't know. But the best way I'm going to find out of where we are. That's the wrong button. What's that? Oh, that's the rear seat. Okay. Um, I want to go here. I want to see where we are. You know, in the world. Da da da. Oh, we're we're there. Okay. Fantastic. 
So if we actually did a 180, we'd eventually end up in um, would eventually end up in um, in Madagascar, which is pretty cool. Good, good film that. Um, right, <laughs> let's just level off over there. So yes, that's um, that's what that's what we're doing today. That's where we are. It's good to know. That's a useless camera right there. And no, right, this aircraft just going all over the place. Which direction is the wind going in? The wind's going at um, nine. It's nine degrees at three knots. So um, it shouldn't be affecting us that much, should it? Really? No. Lakes, roads, everything else, and trees and all that jazz. So um, I hope we can find this poor little baby elephant because it sounds like it's sad. I mean, it's, it doesn't have any parents, you know. Um, yeah, <laughs> Batman elephant. Well, that well actually that'd be Bat elephant, wouldn't it? Bat elephant. Um, or spider elephant, you know. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? An elephant would actually make a great superhero. He'd never forget he was going after, would he? Never at all. Right. How are we doing? How fast are we going? We're still holding 50 knots. That's not bad. We've, we've still been climbing. As you can see, our altitude is still going up. I think the throttle needs to come back a little bit. Just just a smidge. Just to, just to get us a bit lower again so we can actually see what's going on. We're, dro we're now dropping an altitude. That's good. So when he said we could go as low as we want, it would be really funny if I just drove on the road. That'd be fantastic. I'd love to just sort of, you know, sort of like go down the M25 in a Piper Cherokee. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> oh dear. Let's put indicators on the wings. That'd be fantastic and stupid and awesome and illegal. So don't do it. Don't do it. Or do if you got if you if you've you know no don't don't. Um, is the M25 even in this game? I doubt it. Not unless you bought bought like Orbex scenery, which I haven't. Once I got a new computer, I will get Orbex England. And then the corresponding airports, because they've got Southampton and um, Shoreham, which is basically Brighton. So yes, that's stuff I'm going to get in the future, is Orbex scenery, because it looks awesome. And their London looks just fantastic. Their London looks absolutely amazing. So um, yes, that's something I'll do in the future. Might get Easy Dock one day, once after I've got Track IR, that is. Um, and this is all after I've got a new computer. So yes, there you go. My plans for the future. My plans for the future, indeed. It's amazing what dropping 3,000 feet does, isn't it? Well, no, 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 300 feet. Yes, hello? Go ahead. Okay, we're just coming up on Gavalala now. We should be there soon. Okay, well, that was Gua Guavalala, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Right, so is this, is this the reported, is this the last known location or something? I don't actually know. I don't actually know. I wasn't paying much attention at the beginning, and I've forgotten. So, you know, um, there you go. That's, that's just a thing in life. That's just a thing in life. Let's just, let's just see how low we can get here. Um, hopefully not lower than the ground. I wouldn't want to do that today. Look at, the, look at this plane, well, though. Lower, if you wouldn't mind. This elephant is really young, so he might be hard to spot. Ah, yeah. I'm flying low, don't worry. Where's the ground textures gone? Come on, ground. Come back to us. Ground textures. There we go. It's coming back. It's coming back. Right, let's drop the throttle just a smidge more, and we've got to get ourselves nice and low. Nice and low indeed. Oh, look at this. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. So you wouldn't want to drop your sandwich. If you imagine, like, eating in here. If you drop your sandwich, you'd just get um, thrown into that propeller. That's not fun. You'd lose your sandwich. You'd end up with some sort of sandwich smoothie, and that sounds disgusting. So don't do that. Don't do that. Our altitude is, is is dropping quite a lot now, which is good. Oh, look at these trees. Look at these trees indeed. Right, let's keep an eye out for, for our little baby elephant friend. Because um, he could be anywhere within this area, I guess. That, that's, I suppose that's the whole idea of it, isn't it? He could be anywhere here. All right, I need a bit more throttle on again, so we're going to throttle throttle her up. Can't see any anything elephant related yet. So yes, hopefully if we have to go back into land, we won't have elephants on the runway. Hopefully that won't occur, because that was a bit, that was a bit, um, nerve-wracking. That, that was, not going to lie, not going to lie. Dude, is this low enough for you? I mean, I don't want to get too low, because I could start hitting elephants with, with my landing gear, and that wouldn't be fun. Um, we've got to be low enough by now. I mean, what are we, a uh, okie dokie, we are literally, we're less than, yeah, we are very low. Um, in fact, we're probably... Yeah, we're not far off landing. Um, so, ground textures, come back, come back. There's I can't... Up ahead. I'll give him a call. Okay, you one do that thing. One, two, one, seven. We're going over there now. Hey, we have you, inside. you do? 
You do so indeed. Do you Over there, I guess. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we've we've turned to the north, and that's what we're doing. Of course. Right. Okay. Hang on. Is that on the GPS? No. I've got to know what I'm doing. Oh boy. Right. Okay. Okay. We can do it. We can do it. So have we got to go over here, and then do a 180. Is that what you're saying? I think so. I hope so. I hope so. We're going at 40 knots right now. That's kind of unnerving. Ah, so that's the road. Okay, that's the road. Good. Right. Okay. Ah, oh, there's the truck. There's the truck. Hi, truck. Hello. Right. Oh, the it looks more like a... It's, it's not really a truck, is it? It's more of a car. Right, so now we've got, what, turn 180 degrees or something. I don't... I, I, I legit don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, so that's fun. Oh, keep our altitude. We're a bit too low to want to lose that altitude. <gasps> okay. Um, hi. I'm not good at flying. Um, just, just gonna, just gonna gain a bit more altitude for, before we start doing a bit more of a pattern. I think, just to be on the safer side of life. So, where do you want this 180 to occur? So, north of the truck. It's north of the road, isn't it? So, we want to sort of fly this sort of pattern here. So, if I fly this way. And then I'll turn around and come back over there. Is that what it wants us to do? I, um... I, I, I don't know. He said do some sort of pattern. And, um... Well, I don't know what sort of pattern he wants me to do. So, um... Improvisation. We will wing it. We will wing it indeed. So let's just fly out for a little while and then I'll turn around and go back, I guess. I mean, that's a pattern, isn't it? Um... I assume so. Anyway, is there any way of changing like what you're looking at? If I turn, what if I hit K? No, K. Okay. Shift K. Oh, that changed that to gu Guava Lava again. Okay. All right. Um. So I can go, I can switch between the two. I can switch between different things, but I don't know where I'm flying to next. I just know that that's the truck. So, game. Can you give me another clue, please? Actually, I know. Shift F10. No, that's that didn't that didn't do it. I just hit F10, not Shift F10. Hang on. Hang on. I, I didn't hit Shift F10. You guys won't be able to see this, but I will. I'll know what's going on then. Um, Navlog, briefing, messages. Right, my most recent message. Fly a few miles west of the truck and then make a 180 degree right turn and head northeast. Which way's right? Okay. Oh, that's... Okay. I know what I'm doing now. I know what I'm doing. We're, we're flying this way. We're flying this way and then doing a 180. And, yeah. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. We're going this way and then flying northeast, I think. Right. Good. I know what I'm doing now. Bye, truck. <laughs> Just did a bit of a weird loop there for some reason. So yes, the sh the sh if you hit Shift F10, it brings up the um, it brings up the um. I think they call it like the knee board or something stupid like that. But it tells you like so what's going on. So um, yes, we're flying. See, so yeah, I fly a few miles west of the truck, which is this way, and then make a 180 degree right turn. And head northeast. So um, we can we can do that thing. We can do that thing. So let's let's turn northeast now, shall we? That, that can't possibly go wrong. Fly northeast. Because it doesn't tell you how long to do it for, so it's a bit difficult to tell, really. And northeast. Now that's no, that's east. Northeast. Northeast. There we go. See, I was more or less flying in the right direction last time. I just didn't do the west bit. But whatever. Whatever. I think I was doing that right. I, I, I think I was doing that right. Um, hang on. How can you go west um, and then travel 180 degrees and end up at north east? This, this mission is officially confusing. Um, officially confusing. I'm just going to fly around until I see an elephant and then just, just, just say, Elephant! And then we'll, we'll end it there, I guess. Um, can anyone see anything? Come on, guys. Get your elephant trackers out. We need to find this thing. Um, mm, um, so how, how small are we talking when it comes to baby elephant? I mean, you know, how, how old is it? Is it like, I mean, if it's, if it's really young, we're looking for an ant, pretty much. Um, well, not literally, but you know what I mean. Like, you know, it'd be really small and difficult to see. And um, with my view distance, we probably won't see it until we're right in front of it. So, yay. Um... 
I'm now flying northeast. Is this what you want? Um, is is this what you want? Yeah. If I hit Shift F10 again, let's start our search for and fly a few miles west of the truck. Oh, I flew like half a mile. Okay. Well, let's um, let's do that for a second then. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, trees. <laughs> okay. Okay. We need to fly a bit more west, I guess. A, a bit more, a bit more this way first, and then fly. It, when it says a few miles, it's not exactly very, um, yeah, very intuitive. Cause yeah, it's it's confusing. It's what I might do because I've got myself in a completely stupid lost pattern now. Yes, I'm going to land the aircraft here, and I'll see you, um, once I've got back to the truck, and we'll um. We'll fly in the direction it actually wants us to do. So we'll, ju we'll just land here, and then I'll, I'll get I'll get us back to the point of the truck, and we will s we'll start from there again, I reckon. So let's just land here, and put the brakes on, and there we go. Right, I shall see you in just a second. Right, so I'm bringing you back. I'm just under three miles out. I've just saved the game, so you know, hopefully that'll be fine, and uh, we won't die horribly now. Um, well, we didn't in the first place. Um, I just decided that we'd got lost. So, um, okay, you have no idea, by the way, how boring that was. And something's popped up which has muted the game. Thank you, Internet Security. Thank you. So, where do you want us to search? Right. Well, we've done a pretty thorough search to the south of the road, so you should probably start looking to the north of us. Okay. The guy who called us out said it's a baby male. He was last seen right here alongside the road. Right, okay. Okay, we'll search to the north. Cool. Right, so Sounds this... Good. So let's listen out. Let's start our search pattern. Fly a few miles west of the truck, then make a 180 degree right turn and head northeast. Okay, right, so... Here's the truck. Um, if we go a bit lower, we should be able to see the truck. Hang on. I want to see the truck. Um, truck, where are you? Oh, it's there somewhere. Right, so this is west. So we're going to fly west. And we're going to fly west for a few miles. So um, when that gets to about three miles again, I guess. Three or four miles. We'll do a 180. And we'll start flying. Well, that will make us fly east. And then we've got to do another turn. I don't get it. How can a 180 degree turn make me go northeast? It's so weird. Why don't they just say turn so much? Why have I got to do a 180 and then go northeast? It's just... just oh, I don't know. It's confusing. But it doesn't matter. We'll be fine. Onwards on our journey again. Once again. And hopefully um, I can follow instructions and will not get lost. So, um, yes. That's a fun thing to do. Right. So, um, we're going about 47 knots right now, which is good. Altitude's more or less holding. And we're on our way. So, we're nearly a mile out, which is good. And once we get to about... I'll, 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 I'll say four miles. I'll do a 180. Um, and we'll start flying east for a little while, and then I'll go northeast, is what I'm thinking it wants. Because there is no way a 180 degree turn is, um, is northeast. I think the game's just being silly there. Um, I don't know, unless I'm being silly. Which is very likely. Which is very likely indeed. My phone is making a noise. I will be back in a second. And I am back. Sorry about that. The phone was ringing and I had to answer it. Um, funny, that, I think I mentioned that in a video of mine. It might have even been this one if my brain's that bad. Anyway, we are on our way. We're 1.3 nautical miles out. We're going to find a baby elephant. Like, like um, yes, so that's the thing we're doing. Right, and the doorbell's going. I'll be back in a second once again. And I am back again, for God's sake. Right, <laughs> let's try and actually fly a plane. It's just as well, um, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's... <laughs> Yeah, mm. right, anyway, let's try that again. So, yes, yeah, we're um, one point. I got 0.4 nautical miles before another interruption. That's just fantastic. That's just fantastic indeed. Anyway, we are, um, yes, we are doing stuff. We're doing stuff indeed. I'll okay, take... let's make a right turn here and head back to the northeast. Okay, right, I can do that thing. 
Right. Turning, turning, turning. Turning, 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 turning. So, um, right, that's north. And that's northeast. So, um, that's what we want, isn't it? You said head northeast, so that's what I'm doing. That way. Right? That's northeast. So, um, I don't know. That's what this, that's what they're saying. So, that this is northeast. So, um, better be right. Better be right. Um, so yes, we are on our way. And we should be hopefully finding a baby elephant at some point within the, the near some point. Well, it says, the scenario said it's going to take three quarters of an hour. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I've already spent ages flying the first bit twice. That's so... I mean, the first time it was alright because I was chatting, but the second time was boring as all hell. So um, I'm sure, I'm, I, I hope you guys enjoyed it with all the sped up music and stuff that I haven't done yet. Um, so there you go. There you go indeed. Um, yes, so... I'm just having a look around here, just trying to make sure I don't see any elephant-like um, things on the ground. Um, no, no elephants, no elephants. Not yet, not yet. Hopefully, we'll be, hopefully we'll get lucky and, and, and see see our elephants sooner rather than later. Because it says three quarters of an hour, but you know, in the real world, I mean, you could you could say you estimate your time for doing it three quarters of an hour, but it could take like five minutes because you find him straight away. You know, I mean, what if he was behind us on the runway? That would be that would be banterous. Had to be banterous indeed. Well, this is certainly northeast. Um, so yes, look at the moon, at the crescent moon up there. Look at look how pretty that is. The button stopped working. There we go. Look at how pretty the crescent moon is. There we go. Right, how are we doing? We're we doing grand. We're doing grand. We're doing grand. Is he hiding in the trees? Um, not obviously not swinging in the trees, but is he like sort of like on the ground near the trees? Is what I'm trying to say. Um, we don't know. We're going to find out, I guess going to find out indeed as we skim the trees. Um, I mean, I've had quite a few close encounters on this video, haven't I? Nearly crashed into an elephant twice, um, dodged a couple of trees, nearly hit the ground. So, um, you know, it's it's a bit of a dodgy aircraft to fly, but you know, I suppose if you uh, if you replace these controls with an Xbox controller, you wouldn't really blame me really, would you? Because um, I would use my joystick, but um, my, um, my desk surface is so, it's sort of like a shiny, shiny white and, um, it, um, yeah, it just, even with the suction cups, it just slides all over the place, so, it, or, you know, like in previous videos, I've managed to pull it off the desk, so, um, won't be doing that again anytime soon, um, yeah, not, not in a, not in a safety critical role. If I'm flying around and just being silly, then I'll, um, I'll, I can use a joystick, but, um, not, not today, no, not today at all. Well, I don't see anything in there, um, hmm, no, nothing yet. Nothing yet. Right. Um, anything Anything over there? Do I see anything over there? No, that's just a tree stump. Okay. Okay. I think I should just let the expert behind me look for the um, look for the elephant. I'll just, I'll just fly the plane. Yes, I'll... Um, no questions asked. I'll just fly the plane. Um, there we go. You know. Uh, right. Um, we've, we've gone quite far now. I mean, how big is this Continue circuit? Continue a few miles past the truck, then turn left and head west again. We'll work our way slowly north from the road. Okay. So, um, hang on. Work our way a couple of miles away from the truck and then turn west again. Does that mean we've got to turn now? I guess so. Right, let's turn west then. Okie dokie, we can do this. Guy seven, guy one, two. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, go ahead. We just talked to a couple of folks passing by who said they saw a lone elephant walking on the road about five miles west of us a few hours ago. So, he's probably west of where you've been looking. Maybe on the other side of the road? Okay, we're right. west. Us too. We're moving out. I'm flying west. Let's fly along the road further west. Okay, right. So, if I go back to the truck and then fly... Am I, so, if I go back to the truck and then fly along the road, is that is that what I'm doing? I think so. I, I think so. So if we if we fly back to the um, if we fly back to the truck, uh, and the truck is indeed moving, um, we'll f we'll follow we'll follow the the truck on the road, is um is my plan because they'll they'll have the ground view, we'll have the aerial view, you know, it'd be like some sort of like police copter thing, you know, where they've got the aerial view. That'd be pretty cool. Right. So west of their position. So yeah, on the road up there, we should be we should we should be lucky. Um, hopefully soon. So yeah, there we go. 
I'll keep on flying south because we'll, we're going to be going faster than the truck. So if I just, I'll keep on flying south and then turn when we get to the road, and then just sort of try and I won't match the the truck speed because we'll probably stall. Can we land on the truck? Should I try and land? No. If I saved the game, I could try landing on the truck for banter. I really could, and then just sort of just let the truck do the work. I'm going to do that once we get to the road. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to turn face west and then save. Because it's a good idea to save anyway, because if I get lost again, you know. Don't want to have that, do we? So, um, yes, that's what it'll do. Just get back to the road, which is... Shouldn't be too far away now. Uh, I can see... Yeah, we shouldn't be too far away from the road. I think I can see... Yeah, I can see the road. And um, we shall have a little bit of banter on the way. A little bit of banter on the way indeed. Some other banter I've thought of for this... Um, for this mission, is you can switch out aircraft, can't you? Switch it out for an F-18 and see how quickly you can do it. Who knows? Who knows? Well, we're approaching the road, so I'll start a turn to get ourselves onto west soon. There we go. And then we'll just, um, yeah, I'll save it. Once we've, or hope for, I'm hoping we can catch up with the car. I mean, you know, because that would be funny. That would that would definitely be funny if I could try and land on it. We are we are going we are catching up to it, so that's good. Right, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it here. So, um, prepare for the blank screen of everything. Blank screen of everything. There we go. I called it elephant, which I think was appropriate. Save. Um, yes, I want to overwrite the file. And we are on our journey once again. So, let's get ourselves lined up with the road. And, um, yes, I'm, I might try. Let's see, if I, let's see if I can at least get close to it. I might just, because the thing is, I might just crash. And then I'll have to load in um, from, yeah, I'll have to load in my elephant flight. And um, yeah, so we'll see what we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, how are we doing? We're not doing too bad. We are cl we are climbing slowly. Um, we're catching up with the truck. Let's get. Should we just just get onto the road and then just chase it down? Let's do that thing. Because the ground should be like solid enough for us. I mean, it's a road, isn't it? So um, yeah, let's do that thing. Let's go down to the road and then just um, catch up with it in a banterous way. Because you know that's what we do. That's what we do on this channel. Everything just has to be done in a hilariously different way. So there we go. Um, which is why I'm going to do this. He said I could go as low as I want after all. So, um, you know, a um, bit too low maybe. I don't know. But we'll just we'll just f fly along the road until we catch up. We are we are going faster than it. So that's good. I just want to get get to the road and then just sort of be like, oh, Hi guys! And then just fly right over them really low. That would be fantastic. Right, we are... Um, yeah, we are slowly getting there. Slowly getting there indeed. And then hopefully we should find our, our little elephant friend. And all shall all shall be all shall be well. Thanks, camera. Thank you. Why why do you default to that? I don't know. I can see the truck. I think. I think I can see the truck. Yep. Sort of. You can see the dust of the truck that's that's happening. Right, hang on. Textures, 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 come back. There we go. So when there's no textures, you can't tell where the ground is. And that's not fun. Oh yeah, we, we are definitely, we're definitely okay, picking up. I think up. this is as far west as we came. So let's start flying a north-south pattern westward across the road. Turn left. Let's head south first. Okay, but I want to fly over the truck. Hang on. He's probably found some shade by now. It's coming up on the hottest part of the day. Right, hang on. I just, I want to dr drive over the truck. Please, I just want to drive over the truck. Here we go. Or fly over the truck, I mean. Come on, just do this and then I'll turn, I promise. I'll, I'll, I promise I'll turn. And then, yeah, we'll go south. I just want to... I just want to... Hi, guys! There we go. Alright, south time. South time. Right. And we are flying south. There we go-ish. South-ish, that's what we want. South-ish. Right, there we go. Flying south. And now we've just got to keep an eye out for the elephant. You see him? I do. Let's just circle for a while. Don't get too close or we'll scare him. Okay. Alright, I'll circle Wangay the elephant. One, two, seven. Go ahead. We found him. We oh, found him! South of the road. Keep driving west. We'll stay in the area until you get over here and I'll tell you where to stop. Oh, this is we fantastic. Let's just keep circling until they get here. Yeah. Climb higher to make sure they see us. Okay, we'll do that. There they are. Oh, there we go. We found our little elephant friend. There he is. Oh, look at him. That's fantastic. Can I, um... 
Okay, good good luck with the off-roadness. I would try and zoom in on the camera, but because I'm trying to fly in a, in a circle, um, I fear that that would cause many problems, so I won't do that. I won't do that at all. I don't want to get too close to the tree either, because I don't want to scare it off. Um, that won't be fun. Oh, but look at this. We found him. We found it. Let's, let's keep our altitude there, please. Altitude. There we go. Don't get too close. Oh, there we go. There's our friend. Hi, elephant. How are you doing today? We'll get you back to your friends. Don't worry. And, and your, well, um, your ad adoptive family. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's do this thing. Guys, we can hurry up in the truck. I mean, like, you know, I don't want to be doing this all day. I mean, how much fuel do we have? I have absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no idea how much fuel we have. So that's that's fun. That's fun. Still circling the same tree. Ah, oh, he's just standing there. He's just sort of like, I'm quite content with life under a tree, actually. Don't really fun. Just wants to stay here. Be like, no, you have to go home. Oh dear! Don't stall out by doing a 90 degree turn. We know that's a bad idea. Um. Oh, it's going well. Hi, dude. Hi. You all right? That's good to know. Where's where's our where's our off-road friends who can help you out? They've got to be coming soon, surely. We, we, we weren't flying for that much longer than them. Where are they? Bongay 7, Bongay 1, 2. I see him. We'll park here and walk. You want to come along? Sure, I'll be right there. What do we got to do? Okay, I'm going to join them from here. Land alongside the truck so I can get out. Okay, where's the truck? Okay, there we go. Half a mile away, that's not too bad. Right. So we've got to land... In the middle of nowhere, so actually early run was actually good practice. Alright, okay. Right, well let's throttle ourselves back a little bit there. Just about half half throttle. Here we go. Time to come in for a um, semi-professional landing. So there we go. And trying to crash into the truck is also something we're not meant to do. Um, it's just not, not crash into trees either. There we go. You can see the truck, or the, the, the truck exhaust anyway. This is going to be like some sort of really unprofessional landing, but you know, who, who really cares? Well, it's it's more about the elephants today, not not us. So you know, let's just just bring her down gently, and we are down. There we go. Would you look at that? Let's put a bit of throttle on that just to get ourselves to the truck. There we go. Hello, truck. Why is your exhaust coming out the front? Yep. All right, will do. Will do indeed. Success! We did it! We did it! Is that truck going to go off? If, if, if it's not, we're going to park up next to it. it should, I, oh no, it's, they're walking, aren't they? Yeah, they're walking. So we can pull up next to the truck and end it there. Fantastic! Fantastic indeed. Let's, um, let's pull up next to the truck then. We'll do a, go, we'll go round it and um, yeah. It should, look, it should look a rather cool um, rather cool ending. All right, do a turn, do a turn, do a turn. Turn, there we go. Turning, 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 turning. And there it is. All right, let's try and get it. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll, we'll try and get it under our wing, shall we? Um, we'll try and get it under our wing, indeed. And that'll be the that'll be the end. I'm afraid. The end of this video. Is he going to fit under the wing? Um, I don't actually. Hang on. Oh my God, he's bouncing. Are you going to fit under the wing? Oh my God, what are you doing? Hang on. Let's just let's just try and see if we can. We're not going to get you under the wing, are we? No, we're not going to get you under the wing. No, don't don't crash into it. That'll that'll do. That'll do. Control E, um, parking brakes. Yeah, that. I think I think. Oh, that's close enough. That is definitely close enough. Oh look, it's a Land Rover with wings. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, this the, the, the yeah. That's a lot of that's a lot of um dust coming out of there. Oh, but that's and he's got. We've, we've got it. We're dealing with a floating jeep right now, basically. Floating jeep indeed. But thank you very much for watching this one. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.